Hi everybody, I'm Lori Williams and this is my final audition video for Graphic 45 2014 Design Team. Yay! So I'm really excited to share this and I'm also very honored and very blessed that I was even chosen as the top 30 because there are a lot of fabulous artists out there. So today I wanted to share with you a project I did um, and it's a little Graphic 45 box um, that holds a little mini album and I'll just take it apart. There'll be pictures at the end of the video so you can see more detail um, of what we're going to be doing. But inside, it's got the little mini book. But the key to this on the tutorial is the flowers that I have made out of the Graphic 45 metal flowers. And these, one of the things that I've always liked in my art is to have little secrets or little personal things to the art that are just for you or just for someone special. Um, when I've made pins before in the past, you might have a little secret message on the back of it that's just something kind of that you would know. And so this is actually a little book, mini book and, and box that I made. But the secret is this flower is actually a pin. And I also did another pin that I have on the outside of the ribbon. This is a butterfly um, and I added some charms to it. So the tutorial is going to be how to make the pin, the metal pins with Graphic 45. Um, this is another one that I did in the tutorial actually and I just clipped it onto a necklace so there's a lot of versatility but if you gave this to somebody they'd have the mini book they'd have the box but then they'd have a little extra something that comes off and that they could wear it around and, and a nice gift so again thank you so much for your consideration I am super excited um, and I hope you enjoy the video and thanks so much Hi everybody, today we're going to make these exquisite metal pens for Graphic 45 and you can use these on a mini book, you can use them on a card, anything you want, but they really are just lovely all by themselves and are a little extra treat. So we're going to go ahead and jump in. We have our Graphic 45 die cut metal flowers and they also do butterflies. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to use an embossing folder. You can use a Spellbinders or a Cuddlebug, whichever. I'm using a Spellbinders here. And you just want to run the die cuts through your embossing machine. Now, I know my plates. I've used an embossing plate, the raspberry plate, and the embossing mat through my Grand Caliber. But if you use an Ebosser, Cuddlebug, whatever it is you use, just be sure you've got the right sandwiching. And when this gets done, you're going to see that the pattern is impressed into your metal. And it's really beautiful. But we're going to make them pop even more. So using round nose pliers, I am going to bend each one of the petals up just slightly. And my round nose pliers I use in jewelry, they do protect my metal a little bit more from getting scratched. So if you just have regular pliers, be sure you put a little cloth or something in between that it doesn't scratch up your metal. And then you just want to stack your flowers to however it looks good. You're going to be able to kind of play with them. When you get it down how you want it, I put a little piece of foam tape in between the two to sandwich them and to be sure they stay exactly as I want them, even though I'm going to use a brad in the center. So I'm just kind of getting it lined up. And then I'm going to use one of the awesome brads that, that Graphic 45 has. Tighten that down really easy. And really, just the little bit of texture and a little bit of manipulation with your pliers, the flowers absolutely pop. This is a pin back. I have just added a little bit of really strong foam tape. I put that on the back, and voila, you have your pin just like that, ready to go on a card, in a box, however you want to do. This is a butterfly one that I did. Added a little bit of chain to it so that I could add charms. Um, so that just makes it charms are a big thing right now really hot So it's nice to be able to add in some pearls and some of those graphic 45 keys that we love And here you can see I've added it to the mini book Now here are some detailed pictures of the pins the mini book the box that it comes in 
and I hope you enjoy. wish me luck. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> So I'm going to show you how to make these paper flowers using the Graphic 45 Botanical Tea. You can use obviously any of the Graphic 45 papers. I'm using Spellbinders die cuts. I've already pre-cut some dies out, but feel free to use punches, dies, whatever you've got that will give you some flower shapes. I'm using three large and three small for each flower. And the first thing I'm going to do is use some pink pigment ink that matches the colors in the Botanical Tea. And I'm just going to use a sponge dauber and go into the middle of each flower heavy and fan the color out so that it gets lighter and lighter as it goes. And I'm just going to do this on all six of the petals. Then I'm going to use my Distress Ink. Um, I use this on everything. I think you can tell I've obviously used it with a little bit of glitter. And I'm just going to take it, put it on the edges of each of my flowers. And I really use just the edge of the distressing tool on this, just the very corner edge. I'm going to go around on all of those and vintage them up. Then I'm using some really nice pointed tweezers. I love these. I use these just to pick up everything as I work sometimes. But there again, I'm going to take and put the tweezers and fold in. So I'm pinching in the center of each petal and then pinching it up in between my, my fingers. I'm doing that on all of them. Now that I've got all those done, I'm going to use a foam pad and a ball tool. I have the McGill ball tools, but honestly, I've even had some from cake decorating. That's what the plastic one is. So you can use anything as a ball tool. And just roll it around in the center a little. You're going to find that it cups. And then I use the Art Glitter Glue Dries Clear. I love the fine tip. You can really get in with this, especially on fussy cut work that you do. Just put a, a little dollop in the center of your flowers. You're going to offset the other petals as you layer them. And you're going to layer the three largest petals. Push them down a little bit. 
And then obviously going to go in and add your three smaller petals. There again, you can see I use my tweezers for working just like my fingers. I love the fine micro detail work. Then I am a pearl lover, so I'm going to add a pearl to the very center of my flower just to finish it off. And even though these are sticky pearls, I still use a little bit of the glue just to make sure it really holds. These are the leaves that came in this die, and I'm just curling them with a little pointer tool, piercer. And then you're just going to fluff it up. And the thing I love about these flowers is the Graphic 45 paper pattern really comes through the dies. So you've got the shading of the inks and then you've also got the paper that shows and they're beautiful. And here's a card that's finished. It's an easel card where the flowers are highlighted along with some of Graphic 45's paper. Thank you so much again for stopping by. I hope you've enjoyed it.